I could make that. So I am back from Disneyland. It did stop raining, but my feet were so soaked, I think I soaked off like a layer of skin. That being said, um, I'm gonna make soup. <laughs> not been the sexiest way to introduce a cooking video but but it is it is like gloomy outside and my favorite my favorite theme park food is clam chowder weirdly For those that don't know Disneyland in New Orleans Square has bread bowls and they're amazing you can have gumbo or you can have chowder and like I said we're making chowder but on the plus side I want to stay cozy doing it off this recipe with three russet potatoes that I have peeled and chopped and will boil in cool water and well yes we are eventually going to put it in this very sad very old crock pot I don't have I, I don't have time I am on a time budget again potatoes start to loosen up we are going to fry up some bacon because I never promised this would be healthy it is a theme park chowder so oh by the way it's not based on Disneyland's recipe I'm just assuming everything that has bacon Charles and Lucy have been in a corner silently judging my knife skills. Yeah, pretend you're not, but I know what those looks are. Anyways, I took a half an onion and some celery stalks and chopped those. No matter what my dogs think, I had perfect timing because we're going to remove the bacon and saute those vegetables in this glorious bacon fat. And while that looks lovely, I'm checking on my potatoes and they're not perfectly fork tender, but that's okay. Cause like I said, we're going into the very sad and depressing crock pot and they'll get fork tender there. Two have been melancholy all day and I think it's because I left them <laughs> for Disneyland. They have no idea of the concept, but I, I feel bad. So you get some bacon and then try to get some bacon. There you go, go babies. You get one and you're done, chick. <laughs> You don't know English. Anyways, we're putting garlic into this. What am I doing with my life? Make up for that existential crisis, we're adding butter to the potatoes and bacon to our very sad crock pot, and then we're adding in our sauteed veggies, frozen corn, and cat food, I mean clams. I'll be honest with you, you guys are honest with me. I know this is not appetizing. Just like my opener, not appetizing. But that's the beauty of the crock pot. We're gonna add in some liquids here and wait four hours. Give her a good stir. And before we put her to bed, we're gonna add in these seasonings, dressings, whatever the fuck you wanna call that. You guys should know, I don't put in salt until the last minute. There is salt in the stock, there is salt in bacon, just wait. You guys wanna know the irony in all this and why my lighting's like 10% better? As soon as I put the lid on the chowder, I looked outside and it's Fucking gorgeous! It never rains here. I can't have a soup day. I know it hasn't been eight hours, but I'm hungry. It tastes good, and even better, it's raining again. You you can just see my dining room at this point. Hi, but it is raining. So yeah, it's not necessarily Disneyland quality, but I would say it's better quality because I added parsley. And parsley is fancy as fuck. All right, Hubbard. <laughs> Just kidding. He kinda actually likes it. Is it Disney worthy? I like it. Actually, I like the bread too. I didn't make the bread. Damn it. <laughs> everyone. Thanks for watching. I am so excited to finally find a way to format my very uh, <laughs> off-the-cuff moments in the kitchen into a fun way to share with everyone. I'll be posting new episodes every week and the recipes too as long as they don't suck. Oh, also make sure you check out my comics here on YouTube via animations or through any of the shameless plugs down below. I literally post five new comics a week for entertainment and vanity purposes. So yeah, have a wonderful day. Okay, thanks. Bye. Pay your taxes. Love you.